Welcome back to part five. My name is Casey and I'm really happy to be walking through this process with you. You have done it. Congratulations. You've got your good goals for 2024 friend. You are focused on what matters and we are so proud of you. Now we're going to talk through what does that look like to live this out? So when you're ready, turn to pages 40 and 41. Now you and I both know that one of the biggest things that can happen with knocking us off track with our goals is just that we simply forget. Nothing crazy there. We just forget. <laughs> When we begin new things, our brains often rebel. They prefer to keep doing things the way that they've always done them. Habits run deep. Habits die hard. <laughs> Those neural pathways run deep. So throughout the year, it can actually be really helpful to have signposts that just remind us of where we're going and remind us of what matters. And so that's what a word of the year and a vision board can do for you. A word of the year might sound fancy, but it's simply a word that sums up where you hope to head in the year to come. Spend some time flipping back through the pages of your prep work. See what inspires you. See what words come up. Write down a few options and then choose one that fires you up. Most importantly, keep it somewhere you can see it. Write it multiple places throughout your home where you're going to see it as you go about your day. We've given you some space to brainstorm about this and think about it on page 40 and then a really lovely place to write your final word for the year on page 41. But don't worry, if you decide you want to change it, that's totally okay too later on. Do the same thing here with your vision board as well. We have some tips for you on page 43, but the biggest one is this. If you choose to make a vision board, Keep it somewhere you're going to see it often. And remember, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can print photos, you can use family photos, you can cut things out of a magazine, or use a collection of stickers. That All of those work wonderfully, as long as they visually sum up your goals and get you excited about the future and excited about where you're headed. And of, of course, we want to let you know, too, that both of these options are totally optional. The word of the year and the vision board. You don't have to do either of them. They're just there as helpful tools. Okay, let's turn over to pages 44 and 45. This is the beginning of the live it out section of your power sheets. Remember how we talked about there were three sections? You uncovered what mattered, you broke down your goals, and now you're ready to live them out. Little by little, one imperfect but purposeful step at a time. Your monthly pages are going to guide you. So on these pages, you're going to see an overview of what to expect each month. We'll dive into our monthly pages in our next and final video, but know that these pages are a resource for you to return to as you get started. When you're ready, turn over to page 47. Here at the start of your first quarter, we've given you two tools to help you make good decisions about your time. As we know, the way you spend your time is how you spend your life. <laughs> and so thoughtfully making a plan instead of letting life happen to you is, is really, really important. It's really essential to cultivating what matters. The first is the routines reset, and the second is the weekly rhythm. So the routines reset is a chance to brainstorm each morning, evening, and weekend routines for the season ahead. We have had people that love this section. What simple actions could help you live out your time on purpose? What decisions could you make now that would serve you well each day and each week? Take some time to fill out this page now. When you're ready, turn over to pages 52 and 53, your weekly rhythm section. The idea is pretty similar to the routines reset section in that you're proactively thinking about your time. But these pages give you a chance to look at your week as a whole, which can also be really helpful. Again, what will help you spend your time well? What could you maybe add to your schedule or maybe subtract from your schedule that might help you make time for what matters most? And don't be afraid to get messy here. <laughs> Dig in. These are very essential to just work out and take some time to think through. So take some time to fill out this page now. And also, as a reminder, you will get a new routines reset and new weekly rhythm section each season because we know that your life changes with each season and we know that you need new, new space to fill this out each time. And with that, look at you. You've already started to live out what matters. You're already doing it. You're thinking proactively about how to spend your time and making decisions that will pay off for months to come. We are so proud of you. Congrats. In the next video, we'll walk through a month in the life of a PowerSheets user, which we hope you really love. And you'll create your very first tending list. We can't wait and we'll see you there.